UFC Abu Dhabi has just wrapped up. Here is your full mount MMA recap. Prior to today's card, Dana White announced the main card for UFC 308. What's up, everybody? I'm back with another fight announcement live from the Etihad Arena in Fight Island, Abu Dhabi. It's UFC 308, the main event. Undefeated, lightweight champ, Ilya Toporia looks to make his first title defense against the legend and BMF Max Holloway. Ilya is coming off a knockout win over Alex Volkanovsky earlier this year. 13 of his 15 wins have come by finish, and his last four fights have earned him performance bonuses. He is the best combat sport athlete to come out of Spain, and his career is coming full circle because he made his UFC debut in Abu Dhabi. Max Holloway coming off one of the most incredible knockouts in history, defeating Justin Gaethje to win the BMF belt in the final second of their fight at UFC 300. Max holds the record for most strikes landed, most featherweight wins, most featherweight finishes, and third longest UFC win streak at 13. The co-main event will be five rounds between the number three ranked middleweight Robert Whitaker and 11th ranked Hamzat Chamayev. This fight was supposed to take place in June, but Hamzat got ill, and Whitaker, being the bad that he is, accepted Alaskar off on short notice. Chemayev is undefeated, 13-0, with 11 finishes, and eight of those coming in the very first round. He made his debut on Fight Island, fighting twice in 10 days. Also, the number two ranked heavyweight, Cyril Gaon, versus the number three ranked, Alexander Volkov. Cyril Gaon is the former interim champ. He's one of the most dangerous strikers in the division, and he's also won three fights by submission. Volkov is a 48-fight veteran with 24 knockouts in his career. He's currently on a four-fight win streak with three of those coming by finish. Also, number two ranked Magomed Ankalaev versus the number five ranked Alexander Rakic. Ankalaev is 18 and one with 10 wins by knockout. Rakic has nine knockouts in his 14 career wins. October 26, UFC 308 from the Etihad Arena in Fight Island, Abu Dhabi. To kick off the main card, Joel Alvarez defeated Elvez Brenner via TKO in the third round. Charles Oliveira reacted saying, gonna return stronger guys. Cody Stamen says Alvarez is a problem. Aljamain Sterling reacted saying Alvarez is a beast. And Terrence McKinney says, beautiful performance by Alvarez. Yeah, my game plan is uh, the strike. Ever, ever, always, always are the is the strike. But uh, when I go to the ground, I'm very specialist in submission. I feel good with this fans. A lot of fans uh, come to the, fr from the Spain, from the Spain to Abu Dhabi, um, because but, uh, be, be, because it's good for me fighting Abu Dhabi in October, another time. Mackenzie Dern defeated Lupi Godinez v unanimous decision. Henry Cejudo reacted saying Dern definitely leveled up her striking. Even just going through all these fights, like watching these fights before me, I'm thinking like, man, some of the fights would be like two minutes before they even had one punch thrown, you know? So I took that pressure off of me, like, ah, oh, that I have to start like 100% in the first like 10 seconds, you know? And I tried to be calm. Um, it's a fight, you know, so of course there's going to be moments of tough exchanges. I think we showed a little bit of, uh, you know, grappling, a little bit of uh, boxing, a little bit of um, cage work. But yeah, I mean, she's small, she's stocky, it's hard to get underneath her, and she's scrambly. So it was a, it was a good performance all, all, all in, in a whole. Michael Chiesa defeated Tony Ferguson via rear naked choke in the first round. Tony has now lost eight fights in a row. He was tied with BJ Penn at seven. He now has the most losses in a row in the UFC. Kevin Lee reacted saying, man, respect. Charles Oliveira says, thank you, Tony Ferguson. We love you, all respect. The decision is up to you. An honor to share the octagon with you back in 2020. Helen Yee reacted saying, it's not Tony time. Terrence McKinney says, Tony, we love you, but it's time. Henry Cejudo reacted saying, we love you, Tony, but please hang it up. Aljamain Sterling says, very happy for Chiesa, but gutted for T-Ferg. Tough to see such a great career turn the way it has for him. Calvin Gaslam says, one of the best to ever do it in the lightweight division. I hope people will remember the legend of El Kukui in generations to come. One of a kind. Alan Joe Band says, classy move by Michael Chiesa giving up the mic. And Tony Ferguson handled that tough moment well, in true El Kukui fashion. And Dylan Dennis reacted saying, Tony, please retire, man. F I don't want to retire. I really don't. But I love the UFC and I don't want to go anywhere else. So I'm not going to put both gloves down. I'm gonna put one. And I'm gonna keep the other one just in case.
Tony, is this your time? Nah, I didn't time yet, man. I got a lot of shit going on. Prior to this fight, my last win was in the same arena when I fought Neil Magny. Come up short in three straight fights on an 0-3 skid, and then I rebound here in Etihad Arena in Abu Dhabi. It's just funny how things work out. Um, I just feel very redeemed. It's been a long road to get here, you know? Uh, being 36 years old, losing three fights in a row, it's tough, you know? And uh, going against Tony, you know? And I had to overcome some mental hurdles for this fight, and I, I, I'm very proud of myself. I'm very, uh, very blessed to have the team around me, my family, my friends, and uh, I feel like a big part of this is freedom. I feel like the biggest thing I've discovered is I have to become unattached to the result. I get so focused on winning and losing that it just becomes this like win or die mentality. And look, I'm a very competitive guy, but the people that matter, my you, my peers, my family, my friends, they don't give a shit if I win or lose. They're gonna love me the same regardless. And in this last year since the Kevin Holland fight, I figured that out and I just feel free. Davis and Figueredo defeated Cheeto Vera via unanimous decision. Sean O'Malley reacted saying Figgy trying not to gas. And after Figgy called him out, he said, I'd KO that little t Dominic Cruz had it one and one going into the third. And Henry Cejudo says, let's go Figgy. Title shot next. Hey Dana, I beat this guy tonight. Mirab O'Malley, I wanna be next. I wanna fight for the title next. Shara Bullet defeated Mikhail Oleksaychuk via unanimous decision. Marvin Vittori says me and Shara in December. At McMaynard at Dana White. Alan Joban reacted saying, I like that slick inside elbow that Bullet throws. Kevin Holland reacted saying, fun fight, one eye guy winning though. And Henry Cejudo says, sharp shooting from the Bullet. Congrats on another victory in the UFC. Nick Diaz, let's go fight. You striker, I'm striker. You out, I'm junior fighter. Let's go, this is a very interesting fight. Popular, these fans. Let's go, Abu Dhabi, October. And for the main event, Umar Nurmagomedov defeated Corey Sandhagen via unanimous decision. Before the fight, Sean O'Malley said Umar still has time to pull out. Aljamain Sterling says high level fight men, great showing for the Bantamweights, and how skilled it is. Umar earns his title shot in my opinion. Henry Cejudo reacted saying hats off to both fighters. Very high level chess match. Kamar Usman says great fight. Umar is the truth. Title shot next. Eddie Alvarez reacted saying amazing display of MMA here in the main event. We are getting to see two high level fighters display the entire game. Every single art. Terrence McKinney says for Corey never being a wrestler. I was impressed. Congrats to Umar. Very high level fight. And Bilal Muhammad says amazing win for Umar. Title shot. I don't tell you who gonna be this. These two TikTok victims. Doesn't matter for me who gonna be next. Just give me title shot. Omoli, Omeli, Mirab, or someone else, doesn't matter. Dana White went off today discussing John Jones being ranked third in the pound for pound rankings. Currently, Isla Makachev is number one, and Alex Pajeda is number two. In an interview with Kevin Ioli, Dana said John Jones is ranked number three pound for pound in the world. The most fing ridiculous, embarrassing, stupid, know nothing about fing fighting ranking of all fing time. John Jones is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Period. End of story. To have anybody above John Jones right now just goes to show you that you know absolutely fing nothing. It's undebatable. Anybody who even tries to debate this with me, you're just hating on John Jones and you don't like him as a person. These are fing facts. It's not like me and John Jones have this unbelievable relationship. What I'm saying about John Jones is undebatable. The baddest dude to ever walk the face of the earth in combat sports. And that's going to wrap it up for the news. Thanks for watching. For daily MMA news and content, subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post videos. Here are the three top comments from last video. The first one's from Smirkish J. It says, is it just me? Or Bilal been acting salty like Jamal Hill lately? He just won the belt, bro should be happy. The second one's from Max Payne's one. It says, Bilal is like Tuporia. Gets the belt and talks like he's been defending the belt for eight years. And the final one says, imagine if Tony walks out to the press conference and just starts clowning Kiesa's mom. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured in the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. And if you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen right now to get caught up.